this is your first cinema lead role. Was the pressure for this role, you know, any different from all the other roles that you've had to play so far? Um, not really. Okay. I just like to be honest and true to the character I'm playing. I just want to tell her story the best way I can tell it. And um, it's not really challenging, it's just getting into it because it's, it's different being somebody else. But um, maybe the Yoruba part, speaking the Yoruba part, because I was, ah, if you see me, more than I was practicing and practicing in my Yoruba, but that was really it. Um, the story made it easy for me to sit into it. For me, made it easy for me. Um, the cast, the crew, every single person made it easy for me. So, yeah. You're making me feel things that I know are wrong, dirty, and just be easier if I know that you're not feeling the same. Somebody married you and you left him for another person. What was it about that person? So I left him for another person. You did not. How did you know? Did you know? <laughs> Yeah. What was it? I mean, we saw a lot of attraction, you know, we saw a lot of that. So was it just was it just the sex? What was it really about this person that made you leave somebody who loved you for another person? So I'm going to say this. For me, was married off to this older man that she didn't want to be married to. So she wasn't happy. And sometimes when people are depressed and unhappy, they make like very mm, crazy decisions. That's really us. That's so this was a crazy decision. See, for me, made a lot of decisions. Now you'd be like, why? <laughs> Even me, I'm like, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Okay, okay. Hey. Would you say your character was lustful? Just a lover boy. There are people that naturally love in different ways. And you know, you can't judge this character. He's expressive with his emotions. You know, with his masculinity, he's very expressive and generous with it. And, you know, we have to respect that, you know, in terms of meeting some people. If that's what you choose to call it, that's fine. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's his, that's for me story. Okay. How many slaps did you chop in this film? They were just slapping you. At least minimum, I'll say 10 to 20, between 10 and 20. Okay. At least more than 12. Yeah. Another question. You had the guts, eh, to go and love someone that's supposed to be very important to you to love his own wife what like what was the motivation what gave you the God to do that? guys I'm sure we've been through this in life we've all been through this moment the heart wants what it wants the heart what what the more you run away from it the more it attacks you it comes for you and eventually it grabs you <laughs> how do you feel about the future of Nollywood with the younger generation oh we have a lot of phenomenal actors coming up we have a lot of phenomenal just like we have a lot of crass ones you know, but we also have a lot of fantastic young actors coming up. I think the future of Nollywood is very safe, you know, with the quality of producers, especially that we have. I don't think we've ever had this number, we've ever had this, this number and quality of young uh, people at the helm of affairs in filmmaking in this country. Um, is it producers, is it directors, even executive producers, as in young people. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited for the future of Nollywood. I think we're very, very, we're in safe hands. Personally, I've heard people say um, people should marry people that love them more, you know, the law should be higher. And in this film, Odun did not marry somebody. Oh, marry. <laughs> I love you. Let's see, yeah, let me tell you something. Okay. It has to be balanced. Okay, okay. That's the only way it can work. Okay. I don't know, but it has to be balanced though, because if you are doing this, somebody has to love somebody more. Yeah. Okay, now, you, they will do you now, you know how far. You, I, so I think, I think, um, I don't know, I don't know. But I think, I don't know what the measure is, what the scale is for measuring whose affection or whose whatever is higher, but I think it should be as close as possible. You understand? The margin shouldn't be too much. If not, there will be problems. There will be problems. Mm. Because the person will now jam somebody in one corner who he will now have that, who will now meet the gauge of his or her uh -huh, love meter, like one criminal called <laughs> Toby Bakari. Thomas Bride, which one came first? Was it the title or the story? I'm curious. The story. Where were you? What was happening? What was that like? Yeah, so it was after Jure, I was very sick, so I went to Calabar to rest. And I was just doing photo shoots, because like, if you know me, like I'm shamelessly doing photo shoots every other day. <laughs> and I did this whole series with my good friend Sandra, and photographer 98 Sensation, it felt like black love. And I came back from Calabar wanting to tell a melanated love story, a black love story. And I just wanted it to be set in the backdrop of black excellence. So like when you see the vintage world in the film, everything looks beautiful, everything looks picturesque, everything looks like a painting and I, and I just wanted that. I was going to ask about, you know, there's a lot of attention to detail, even the time this was setting. Tell me about the thought process that guided that. Yeah, it, it was a lot of research, but at the same time, it was a lot of help. 
um, film is not a one man thing, it takes a village. So I think when all of the crew members and everybody, every part of the team came together, everyone just wanted to do excellent work for the film. So yes, there, there were some back and forths and all of that, but ultimately everyone wanted us to pay close attention to details and to make sure we make literally one of the most beautiful films Nigerians have ever seen. And what's that one thing that you want people to take away from Farmer's Bride? Oh, one thing is so hard. It's a powerful film. Yeah. It's a powerful film. But I can just add, it's also a sexy film. So, you know. Yeah. What's that on purpose? What was that about? <laughs> I mean, what is a black love without the black love? You know? <laughs> There was a lot of attention put into the time. It wasn't like 2024 Nigeria. Tell me a bit more about that. If it's something that, something that I'm, I'm very passionate about is telling authentic like Nigerian stories, because we have so many stories that are untold. What this reference is, even if it, it is all fiction, it's not a story that has happened before, but it's something that people can relate to, like I said earlier. And if you are thinking of people that can, what people can relate to is, is in the past because there's a lot that's happening now that we don't know the answers to yet but a lot of things that happened in the 90s and in the 80s they've either all crystallized right now or or it crystallized a few years ago so being able to reference things of the past and then bringing it to the future doing it in present is something that would always be interesting and it's something that also means that gen z's boomers millennials can also watch and for that, why not? We're loving it. I also noticed the distribution rollouts. There are cinemas in the UK that will be showing Farmer's Bride. There are Francophone countries that will be showing Farmer's Bride. Tell me more about that. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, Film One, we are content producers and distributors, and we've been at this game for quite some time. Uh, <clears throat> with this film, after watching it, it was just something that we were sure that everyone needed to see. Um, we knew that it, went, it had to be a global release, and we just thought, okay, where should we start with? We thought, okay, let's do it for our African peeps first. And um, the French speaking Africa, they've always liked Nollywood, they've always had good numbers, why not do it there? And then our friends in the UK, we know that our Nigerian Republic in the UK is always there, so we're hoping that they come out you know, to support our content, so yeah. So tell me about the very interesting dynamics between yourself, um, Toby, that's Femi, and Bukwemi's character. We had so many arguments on set, and I'll refer to this, and I would always say that he was mine first, yeah, so I was in the right. Whoever is going to watch this, it's your concern. Banke was the original owner. Yeah, your man. Yes, I'm, that's my man. So yeah, Bubemi's character for me, she's definitely the outsider in this. So I'm Banke, so I'm, I'm rooting for Team Banke on this. Yes, 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 Team Banke. <laughs> Film House has been doing such a great time from Adire and now to Farmer's Bride. Um, how do you think the audience will receive this story? I think that the audience will be really proud. I think that the audience would receive creativity and see the growth. Um, the audience would also be invested, as we have been invested, in just pure talents and just hard work. Yes. Okay, and I, the distribution rollout involves other countries. What's the thought process behind that? Um, the truth about it is that Farmer's Bride is an amazing movie and it cuts across different markets. Um, and I think that, you know, we have a huge following, both locally and internationally. And so that was the reason why we thought to give everyone a piece of this, because Farmer's Bride is amazing. Trust me, you've never seen anything like this before. And um, Film House released Adire, and now we have a Farmer's Bride. How do you think the Nigerian audience will receive the story? I think, in fact, you should hear Toby Bakari himself, who is the lead actor, speak on this movie. It is different. He literally said that if we had given him the script without negotiations, that he would have acted it free of charge. That's how different the storyline is. And I know that it will sound cliche. Yeah, everybody says their storyline is good, but at least you're going to watch it tonight and you'll see how amazing the movie is. So I think people would love it. It's very relatable. It shows that you can be a murderer even though you were you never thought of it but anyone can do anything for love what are you expecting from farmer's bride expecting some really really good um storytelling obviously great production value the trailer was amazing um and if the film is anything to go by or sorry if the trailer is anything to go by then the film is going to be great what would you say about the direction nollywood is going now it looks like we're exploring more genres of stories what kind of stories would you like to see personally um can I say ones where our government finally does what they're supposed to do? <laughs> um, no, no, I feel like um, 
Nollywood is becoming braver. There's there's a lot more um, guts going into the films we're making. I mean, talking about films that are back in time, uh, the history of the country, the history of the nation, I think it's a very brave thing to do because us here now, we need to know where this country started from. A lot of young people don't know. Um, and we can't leave the country in the future if we don't know where we're coming from. So I'm glad that Nollywood is veering into roads less or onto roads less traveled. Um, it's not all about just laughs and giggles in the cinema. You want to go in and have an experience. That's what art is for. And hopefully one that transforms you.